guys, we are on Scary Tour currently, about 20 minutes outside of Bellstone. I'm sure some of you will have recognized Bellstone from the previous footage. It's not somewhere that I've kind of traveled out from recently. I think I've been here before back when I trained for 10 tours, but that was a very long time ago. So at least from the point of view of making these videos, this is very still very new territory around here. So we've just left. The path I'm following, I think it's the Dartmoor Way that I'm following, and it's just kind of down that direction. But I saw that this tour was over here, so I thought, why not just take a little detour? Another one I can mark off the list, as we would have skirted past it if we just followed the the path along. It's it's a nice day. It's well compared to the last week, which has been absolutely scorching. You could argue that it's not a very nice day, but after all the heat, it's nice to just be out in slightly cooler weather, a nice breeze around, there's a little bit of rain in the air, sort of enough that it's refreshing, but not enough to kind of make you all wet, soggy and miserable. So we'll see how that kind of pans out. The Met Office has given a yellow, uh, yellow or amber, whatever, whatever the warning is for thunderstorms across pretty much the whole of the south of the country today, tonight and tomorrow. So we might see some interesting weather today. Who knows? Might, might not. We'll see how it goes. So I've gone for a bit of a lightweight camp today. I was trying to go ultra light, but for reasons I'll probably get into later on, didn't quite work out. Still managed to go pretty light. My entire kit today with all my gear, liter of water, my food, and three cheeky little bottles of wine has come in about 7.2 kilos. So pretty happy with that. I'm also not wearing my normal Scarpa boots today. I've gone with my lighter uh, Adidas Terex trainers, which are lovely and comfortable but they are, they're about as waterproof as a brown paper bag, to be fair. So I'm gonna to need to take a little bit of care as I'm walking along, not just trample through every puddle like I normally do with my boots, I need to be a little bit careful, but it's been so dry that hopefully, at least from Dartmoor scale, it's not gonna to be too wet out here. So the plan today is that we're gonna head over to oh, it's either West or East Mill Tour, I can't remember which one now that I come to say it. Uh, but we're heading over in that general direction. Never been to those tours before, so that'll be nice. And it's not too far. It's about eight, well, eight kilometers from Bellstone, so probably from where we are now, about 7K. So not very far at all. Shouldn't take too long to get over there. But I don't, again, just wanted to get out, have a stroll. I've not been too well these last couple of weeks. I had a trip into hospital, so I just kind of wanted to get out and... You know, take it easy, just enjoy some fresh air and try out some new some new equipment. I can't remember whether I said it or not, I'm going to have to edit this out in a, later on if I have, but the shelter tonight, we are using a uh, tarp, so I'm going to try and get it going in the tent configuration, and I've got my bivvy as well. So I've got my quilt, don't want that getting wet, hence the bivvy. Tarp should keep me dry, but... My legs are going to be sticking out towards the, you know, the door of the tarp tent, which won't be zipped up or covered. So I've got the bivvy as well, just a bit of extra weather protection, which has helped keep my pack weight so low. You know, the Hex Peak, I am really enjoying, but, and it's not the heaviest tent in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but the um, tarp and bivvy combo is a lot lighter. So that's why, and I haven't used them before, so why not? I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm going to head over to West or East Mill, can't remember which one, <laughs> whichever one we're going to, I'm going to head in that direction. We need, yeah, get over there, get camp set up and enjoy, enjoy the cooler weather and who knows, we might even see some um, interesting storms this evening. So I'm going to get going and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Uh, we're about to go into the firing range. Uh, you can see the posts, posts over there, so this area here is, I think it's the Oakhampton range, I think, uh, but I forgot I didn't, coming up here was a last minute decision, I didn't check the firing times, but I can see a, I don't know how well you can see it, kind of over here, there's a flagpole, and there's no flag. So when they're firing, they put red flag up there. So we should be good. Got a bit of road walking. Uh, 
come on on the road here I think I'm gonna follow this for about 500 meters or so and then cutting back onto the moor but it's nice it's it's getting a bit humid I think that's partly because I've been you know putting some distance in now that pint of cider probably <laughs> probably didn't help matters uh, but it was nice I thought why not it's not often that I get the opportunity to have a have a pint when I'm out on these little hikes so why not so we're not in any big rush um, but yeah I'm feeling a little bit puffed I'm sure that'll sort itself out in a minute uh, but yeah that's it I'm gonna carry on I'll catch up in a bit So the weather has turned my <laughs> i've only just noticed it in the last five minutes or so it's gone from i mean i guess you can see sort of the more questionable looking clouds over in that direction but i've you know i've come from over here but look at it now look at all this it's lovely we're just kind of heading up towards Rotor, Rautor. I'm not sure. I hear a lot of people call it Rautor. It's one of those words, isn't it? Spelt the same, pronounced different, depending on context that you're using it. But it's a flipping lump of rocks. Who knows? Rotor, Rautor. That's kind of where we are at the minute. We're just heading up towards that one. The um, the path that I'm on again, it doesn't go to Rotor, but might just take a little diversion off and head up there again you know gotta get those tours ticked off so I might catch up with you when I get up the top of Rotor so here we are at West Mill Tour not East Mill Tour check the map it's definitely West Mill Tour it's uh it's pretty early it's about eight kilometers that I've done and it took me about an hour and a half so pretty good pace really considering that I'll stop in to do filming and other bits and pieces it feels a bit early to stop if I'm honest but as I mentioned you know I wasn't I haven't been too well so I don't want to go uh, you know overdoing it and potentially doing myself a, a nasty or something uh, today was I just wanted to get out you know I wanted some fresh air kind of have a bit of time to myself a bit of time to think and you know reflect all that kind of stuff so I've got to go and get some more water there's a there's a stream about half a kilometer away so I can have a little trip down to the stream to stock up on water for the evening but I think yeah I'm just gonna stop and camp here it's nice and flat So lots of nice little potential places to set up the the um, the top tent. So I got my got got a coffee. Figured I'd just kick around here for half an hour or so, just chill out, drink my coffee. Um, I might, considering that the stream isn't very far away, there's not many people around either. I might just stash my gear and just wander off down, get myself loaded up on water for the evening, and then come back and get set up. And yeah, just. Just chill out, um, see what see what weather the evening brings. It's it's a bit of a, it's strange. It keeps going from sunny to cloudy, and the clouds are really low as well, which is pretty interesting. So I haven't heard any rumbles of thunder or anything like that yet, but plenty of time. So that's the general plan. I'm just gonna mooch around, drink my coffee, and go off and get some water, and then I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Uh, so. Uh... <laughs> I'm in the car and um, so you know I had that coffee well I finished my coffee and I thought well that was really nice and it was you know what that was so nice I'm gonna have another one so I put the kettle on and my gas ran out and I knew my gas was low I've got another gas canister in the boot but I forgot to swap it over so I kind of paced around swore a bit Try to decide what to do. I didn't fancy starving. 
well, not starving, you know, you know what I mean, I didn't fancy being hungry, I'm already hungry, and I thought of uh, a long night without any food wasn't appealing to me, uh, so initial plan A was just to quit and just go home, uh, but then I thought, well, if I'm going to quit and go home, I'm walking back to the car, I'm not that far, it's, you know, I got over there pretty quickly, so I thought, well, why don't I just walk back to the car, get a gas and walk back again. Bit of a slog, but uh, but then as I was walking back, I realised that I'm on the kind of part of the moor where there's lots of car parks and there's that kind of ring road that goes round, and there's a there was a few cars parked like pretty much at the base of Westmill Tour. So I've walked back to the car, and what I'm going to do now is drive back <laughs> to Westmill Tour, and I'm going to park up um, where those other cars were, walk back up to the top, and get camped up so yeah <laughs> what a disaster anyway i'm just gonna have a quick breather for a minute have a drink and then i'm gonna hit the road <laughs> and i'll catch up with you again in a little bit okay so we're almost back um i couldn't i couldn't work out how to get back to where i'd seen those cars parked at the bottom of west mill tour i mean i could kind of see it on the well, the sat-nav kind of knew where it was as well, but um, back sort of just a little bit further down the road where it looked like I needed to branch off to get up there, there was a big sign saying no unauthorised vehicles beyond this point. Uh, so I decided not to go down there because traffic wardens are one thing, but the army is something else. Don't really want to go pissing those guys off so I'm parked kind of a bit closer to Rotor now which is fine it's not too far you can see kind of Rotor is here and West Mill Tor is there so it's not too far 20 minutes half an hour tops <laughs> I will be back where I was and we can pretend like this whole thing never happened. <laughs> Hello guys. So we're not on West Mill Tour. We're on Row Tour. Uh, I gotta, I gotta kind of almost admit defeat. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I think you know driving back here was was a good call, but uh, I'm just beat, absolutely beat, and um, I just didn't fancy it. I just you know starting to lose the light. I mean, it's not like it would have been dark when I got up there, but the light is going, and I got the top. That I'm putting up as a tent and I've never done that before so I was slightly wary as you may have seen from the, the time lapse so I almost I should have put some Benny Hill music going or something while I was doing that I got there in the end but I've also noticed that a theme is emerging on this camp and that theme is Ryan forgets things ah so I got the gas as we've already seen which is a massive fiasco uh, but it also turns out that I forgot to bring the right peg bag, so I've made up a specific peg bag for the tarp tent. Oh, tarp tent, as you can see, and in that peg bag was enough pegs for said tarp tent, but also it had the guy lines. Uh, so I brought the wrong peg bag, which just had some pegs in it. So not quite enough pegs for the tarp. No guy lines. Uh, so. I mean, it's fine, you know, it's it's still a shelter, but uh, it's going to be a bit flappy. <laughs> oh, and also, so the other thing I was going to do on this video was the announcement for uh, the, who won the, the giveaway for the channel, and I forgot the, the names as well. I had them all printed out, little bits of paper. And yeah, I was going to make that a bit of a feature on this video. Uh, I still do it. I'll just 
I'll just have to film it when I get home and kind of cut it into this video. I wanted to do it on location though. Uh, so I've got to admit, I was sat here about 10 minutes ago just thinking, oh my god, is this just doomed? Should I just go home? But, yeah, it'll be alright. You know, weather's okay. Uh, no crazy thunderstorms <laughs> as of yet. I've got enough pegs that the, the tarp's not going to blow off. It's all right. And you know what? Worst case scenario, the car is 15 minutes walk from here. So if it all goes to, to hell, I'll just pack up and go and get in the car and either sleep and I would drive home. Ah, it's been going so well these last few camps, guys. I've been doing really well. And I don't know whether it's, you know, whether I'm just not firing on all cylinders because of the you know, the illness and the hospital and painkillers and all that kind of stuff, I don't know. And I don't want to make excuses. I mean, everybody forgets things. It's just been, this camp's just been one thing after another. But it's about half past eight, quarter to nine, something like that. I am going to chill out now. I haven't set my bed up yet, uh, but that won't take very long. Uh, anyway, as I was about to say, you know, I'm going to crack open some wine, I think have a drink and then get some get some dinner going so in, in regards to the giveaway I will I don't know at some point from here in the video I'll cut to me being at home and I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll draw the winner then and uh, yeah we can get that sorted out so I thought I'd just do one more little bit of filming before I turn in for the night because as I mentioned I'm shattered absolutely shattered so it's um it's about quarter past nine. I've just sort of I've just got my food uh, rehydrating, so I think I'm probably going to call it a night at around ten. Eat some food, have have a drink, just sit and chill for a little bit, and then yeah, then crawl into bed and hopefully have a really nice sleep. There are a lot of sheep up here, <laughs> so I'm mildly mildly concerned. Oh, I'm getting in the way of my time lapse. Uh, that I'm gonna wake up with a sheep in the in the um, in the tarp, but it should be fine. So here is Casa del Ryan this evening. Because uh, I didn't have the guy lines to tie this back, I've just used a little bit of uh, it's just the cord off of some of my pegs just to tie this in, so it's not flapping all over the place. It doesn't look too tidy, but it's better than it would have been. So inside, pretty simple affair. So I've got my standard uh, X-Ped mat, my thumbrest quilt, and I've got a Alp kit hunker bivy bag. And uh, yes, the DD tarps, three by three tarp. As you can see, there's, there's so much room in it. I'm quite, it's crazy, I mean, there's me there, and you get two people in here, no problems. You'll probably fit three in here at a pinch. Um, I've pegged in the back corners, as you can see. But what I'm thinking of doing is unpegging those because I haven't got a peg in the back center. It's kind of annoying me. So I might peg that out, and I'm also missing a peg here. It's, it's going to be quite cool. Uh, you know, I'm used to being in the tent, so having the kind of open, open door is going to be fun. It'll be fine, though, yeah, as long as the sheep don't all start crowding in, but I'm sure they're not going to. I think I can see a uh, camera on a tripod over the other side of the tour, so I don't know if there is potentially somebody else up here sleeping tonight. I haven't seen them, if that's the case. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, food tonight is um, the. I normally have the expedition foods, but tonight, like I watch Life on the Rocks. I keep going on about his channel. I mean, if if by some bizarre reason you're not subscribed to Dean's channel, you should really head over and have a look. He's got some really great videos uh, of um, you know various various trips and camps on Dartmoor. Really good stuff. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description but his his favorite it seems is the adventure foods pasta bolognese so I thought well I'll give that a try he's always banging on about how nice it is 
So we'll see. We'll see if our if our taste in food is similar. So I'm giving that one a go tonight, and yeah, that's just kind of rehydrating at the minute. It's got peas in it. I mean, come on. That's one thing I noticed when I poured the water. So it's freaking pasta bolognese got peas in it. But hey, oh, never mind. I don't. It's not. I don't like peas. It's just. It's not what I would normally expect to find in. But ayo, as long as it tastes good, who cares, eh? Uh, but I think that's that's gonna be it for me this evening. I guess I will film again if the um, if the skies erupt into thunderstorms. I might show you a bit of that. But I don't know. I mean, I'm no weather expert, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. You know, normally before a thunderstorm, it's it's like that kind of prickly heat that you can kind of, the air, the air is just tense all the humidity and stuff I'm not sort of not feeling that but I'm not a meteorologist so what do I know but if there isn't any crazy weather I will catch up with you guys in the morning so no thunderstorms last night a little bit disappointed because I was kind of hoping there would be but as I said you know the weather really didn't feel like uh, thunderstorms were brewing so I don't know if there was some in other parts of the country but I didn't certainly didn't hear any if there was any last night it wasn't enough to wake me up put it that way uh, so it's a very very misty misty morning but bit on the cooler side there's it's been raining quite a bit hence the um hence the waterproofs on uh but the the tarp was fine so it held up nicely and uh yeah the bivy was okay i think i need to get a bigger one if i'm honest it was a bit it was a bit tight in there uh with the sleeping mat and the quilt so yeah, it was just the normal hunker one that I bought. Perhaps I should have got the XL to have a, uh, a little bit more room to wiggle around, etc. Because if I li if I went onto my side, my shoulder was you know properly pressing up against the the bivy, and it was all yeah quite tight. So I might look at getting myself an extra large bivy and perhaps use that one with a foam mat instead so that'd be for proper proper lightweight uh camping uh it's pretty miserable up here to be honest and um i'm just having i'm just trying to decide whether to stay up here and have some breakfast or to just skedaddle down to the car i think because it's so close because normally you know the car's a bit of a bit of a trek breakfast generally feels a bit more appealing because I know that I've got a bit of a walk in front of me but it's only about 10-15 minutes walk down to the car so I may well just skedaddle on out of here and go home and have a bacon sandwich or something instead or even stop at McDonald's who knows right so I'm all packed up and uh, yeah I've decided not to have breakfast I'm just having a, a coffee so I'll finish that off and then head down to the car. It's about half past six at the minute and yeah as you can see there's not a lot to see here so I figured there's not a lot of point me filming anything more. A because it's 15 minutes to the car and B you can't see anything. So I didn't think there was much point me filming anything going back to the car because a, it's only 15 minutes away, and B, you can't see anything. So I'm pretty much all packed up. Just got my stove. See, I'm drinking out of the pot at the minute. So I want to finish my coffee, get my stove packed up, and then I'll be on my way. But stay tuned for another minute or so, because in a moment I'll be cutting to the, the giveaway, which I will film from home. But as far as this camp goes, that's it. It's been... 
I wouldn't say a peaceful experience, it's been a bit stressful at times, but nice to finally get out in the tarp and bivy. Uh, so that's another kind of other thing done. Kind of know how it how to do it now, so I'm sure I'll be weaving the tarp and bivy into my shelter options going forward. And yeah, it's been nice. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hi there guys, back at home now. I've had a shower, made myself decent and just figured let's just get on with the draw. Would have been nice to do this up on the moors but you saw what happened. <laughs> uh, important thing is we just get somebody picked. So everybody who put in their comment that they wanted to enter, printed the names out, put them on little bits of paper here and I'm just gonna give it a jiggle and pick someone out. So here we go. All right, that feels pretty random. Uh, what have we got? So the winner is Chris Dilly. Chris Dilly. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a reply to your original comment on the video. Hopefully you'll see that if not seeing it in this video. I guess the easiest thing for you to do would maybe be to add me on Instagram because then I can um, I can message you, you can give me your address and then I can organise getting the stove and the titanium spoon sent out to you. So thanks a lot to everybody who did enter and thank you to everybody who didn't enter but has been supporting the channel. Greatly appreciated and yeah, it means a lot to me. I'm going to do some more giveaways at different milestones. So I think the next one will be at 250, then 500, then 1000. So who knows when that might be, it might be years into the future, but uh, I do want to do a few more going forward and yeah, when I hit another milestone I'll set another one of these up. So thanks again guys and as always I'll see you in the next video.